Thank you for joining me. This is going to be a tutorial for a caramel truffle. I have one right here. I'm hoping that I can get you some good light. It's getting to be evening time. It looks really a lot like the cover picture that I have on. So I'll show you what we do here. I basically take about, well I take one rectangle of the translucent Primo polymer clay and I take a quarter of a rectangle of the gold colored polymer clay and, from Primo. I mix it, mix it, mix it, condition it, mix it thoroughly and then I take a little pinch, roll it into a ball. This is um, right under half an inch. I have the exact measurements in the written tutorial that's going to be in the description um, later tonight or tomorrow just see uh, a day after it's posted it will be up so uh, here we are it's in its little ball and then this is burnt umber hardened up a little bit so after you condition some burnt umber primo polymer clay this is a little bit smaller I'm rolling it into a ball once you have it roughly into the shape of a ball you flatten it I flatten it with my fingers, just go around in a circle, flatten, flatten, flatten. You don't have to worry about the fingerprints because you're going to roll those all out. So, we just flatten it, make it nice and thin. Then I roll it around the edge. And I pinch till it is completely covering the golden center. I pinch that off. I pinch that off. Now um, I wanted to show you too. This is pretty well covered but if you're not careful to cover every single tiny bit when you're rolling it in the ball that little bit will show. So if you do happen to have a little bit showing you can cover it with another piece of the outside clay and then from here, I'm going to roll this into a ball. I'm not quite far enough from the camera to actually get a good picture of that. So you have your ball. That's your truffle. And then to shape the truffle, I roll... Let's see if I can get this closer here. I roll with the index finger and a thumb to start giving you a flat bottom and curved, uh, elongated shape the truffle has. Once you start getting the shape, I do it on the top from on the paper. And this will help it get the conier top and I don't want it to be a real cone top, I want it to be rounded on top, but I want it to be smaller than it is towards the bottom, so once you get the general shape, you can tap around the top gently. Okay, so that is our truffle. I have two truffles here. Now, um, from here, I'm going to show you how to make the golden drizzle. And I'll show you two different methods. This is the one I um, used to use exclusively, but uh, I'm liking doing it drizzle style now. I'm going to show you both. One way is making a snake, nice and thin. This is the same golden color that I used before. When you have time, you could make it nice and thin and and consistent all the way through. I'm just trying to be quick here, so. And then you can literally just bring it back and forth across the top of the truffle. And there you go. So there's a truffle with a drizzle on top. And the other type of drizzle that I'm liking, which is what I have in the pictures, 
And what I'm going to show you now is you take some of that, the conditioned clay, the same color as the inside, the gold and translucent, and you pinch, pinch, pinch little tiny bits, and you put it in some TLS. I put a fair amount in. And then usually I use a clay tool that has a blunt flat edge, and I really like that. Um, but uh, you could also use a paintbrush. I'm using just the back end of a paintbrush. And you just go along and smush it, smush it. You can see it's already starting to get soft. You could even let it sit for a few minutes, which will help further soften it. And then you can just start mixing. And eventually, between mixing and smashing, it will eventually become completely smooth. Now, um, I want to show you something else. This is called Pearl X. They come in little tiny jars. This particular color is Aztec Gold. They're usually sold in a kit instead of individually. But, I wanted extra sparkle on the top of my truffle. So, I take a toothpick or a safety pin in this case, but usually I use a toothpick. It holds on to more. And I also mix that in for a little extra sparkle. And then you just continue mixing in until it's all thoroughly combined. I actually already did this, so we don't have to waste too much time. I just thought it was nice to show you so you can see the process. This is it thoroughly combined. Mixing it up a little bit. You want it to be able to get a little bit stringy. You can see how it hangs on there. And then for your drizzle, it'd be the same thing, just going back and forth across the top. And when this bakes, this is going to be really nice and shiny and pretty because of that extra pearl X dust that I put in. So, we are almost done with these little guys. Now, um, let me move that out of the way, that paper. I just take my little, uh, here's a heart-shaped cookie cutter. The back end, the corner, the bottom of the heart is really cute, but I usually use the heart section, and that's how my little bites come out. When it's cooked, you get a lot more of the sparkle, and you get a ton more of the sparkle if you glaze it with a um, varnish glaze. Here's this one, so same thing. Just go straight down, remove the bite. So those are the truffles. Now I'm just going to really, really quickly here throw in one more thing. I did a sea salt caramel that goes with it. It's the same color of the TLS mix. Here I have burnt umber, and this is a set of charms that I do for my shop. I like doing color coordinated charms. So burnt umber rolled out on a one once it's conditioned. I chop a half inch strip, which is what I did. I stack it, then I cut along the back side of it. Do that one more time. So basically you have three layers with half inch strips and you cut squares. I'll just make two here. This is demonstration purposes, so I'm trying to be as quickly, get it done quickly as possible. Um, I'll often just push the corners down a little bit to smooth them out. Usually I trim the edges to be perfect, but uh, I didn't want to take the time to do it in this tutorial because I'm sure you can get the idea. Um, you just trim the edges with the razor blade like I did in the salted caramel. But you just take your stringy and you drizzle it. So that's a chocolate square. So that matches the caramel chocolate collection, which is the chocolate truffle we just did with the caramel inside. That. And I actually like having one with a white chocolate drizzle too. 
I find it a little bit more striking. It adds a little bit of something different. And this white chocolate drizzle is white primo in the TLS, mixed just like the other one. So there we are. We have a white chocolate square, a dark chocolate square. We have this uh, caramel truffle, and I find the caramel truffle much prettier when you do the liquid drizzle. This is a liquid drizzle on top. It has a lot of sparkle. It's hard to tell here. Here is my salted caramel. Oh no, I'm getting white TLS stuck on it. It was on the side of my cup. I'll clean those little guys off later. They're all done. But, um... Yeah, so it's a set of four, and I usually um, add an extra, an extra white chocolate chair, uh, extra white chocolate, and an extra sea salt. But there they are. I hope you'd enjoyed it. There is the, uh, there's the written instructions in the description area of the tutorial below and uh, I'll show you one more thing I know this is going to be long I don't know if you've noticed I do have it varnished on all the sides and there's not a messed up bottom edge on the varnish if you varnish it and set it on glass or another surface like a plastic sometimes you get that messed up varnished edge on the bottom the way that I deal with that I'll have to move the camera a second here I have an earring rack the bottom of it's a little bit dusty but I have all of these little these little holes here when I varnish something that I don't want to have a messed up of bottom edge varnish I will hang my charm on a ear wire with an open loop I paint the varnish on and then I just stick it in one of my earring holes here till it dries so it just hangs out there and then that way it dries without um, the varnish getting messed up there is a pink ice cream mochi. This is actually doing using the same technique we just used. Different colors, but it's just like the truffle. You could see the heart-shaped bite out of it. I figured I'd show you that since it's the same technique. And we are done with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more tutorials, go ahead and subscribe and like the videos so that way I know what you want to see. You could comment if you want to make special requests. So far I've done mostly the simple ones. Um, the strawberries have a lot of steps but they're still one of the more simple ones. The eggshell is fun but it's not too difficult. Um, and so far you've been lucky where we haven't done a lot of clay mixing but most of my foods actually mix a whole bunch of different clay colors in order to get some of the colors that you see. Here's a little cupcake with a lollipop on it. Um, so yeah, go ahead and let me know what type of things it is that you would like to see. See you next time. Bye.